the way. It's nice to get runs. Um, I haven't had much, probably had a limited opportunity with how well our batters have been playing. So um, a little bit of frustration, obviously, throughout the summer with when I get my opportunity, I haven't been able to go on and get a big score or, or contribute as well as I would have liked to the team. So nice once I got in, got a start, I was able to do that and, and, and um, contribute to a win to Australia. Mm. You've started the summer really well. Um, one test left. How do you ensure that there's no complacency from the team and to try to finish up with a clean sweep. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a lot to play for. Obviously, the Test Championship now, um, meaning there's more points up for offer. Um, we, we've been fantastic at making sure that we've been backing up games and it's something that's probably been not our strength over the last sort of couple of years and then winning games after winning. So um, we're on a beautiful roll at the minute. We've got some great momentum. We're playing some wonderful cricket. Everyone's fresh and ready to go. So hopefully finish the summer really, really well. Travis, this Test Championship, how much do you guys speak about it? Because I feel like every time we talk to you, it's, it's the first thing on everyone's lips. Yeah, well, it's, it's basically our World Cup, isn't it? So I guess it gives us a great um, lead up. It's something we look forward to. It's something to really work towards. So it's something that we've spoken about and something that we want to we want to be there. So um, I guess with the one day team with the World Cup and T20 team with the World Cup coming up, um, pretty much we want to be at Lords. We want to be competing for the, the Test Championship. That's that's the ultimate goal. But it's obviously series by series and test by test. It's a long process to get to there. But um, I, I guess as we're continuing on in this, I guess. It's quite new and uh, it's a new road that we're going down, but um, I think as we gradually get closer to that, it will mean more to individuals, I guess. And as a team, we're trying to build that um, awareness or culture around trying to win that. I know it's hard for you to answer, but do you think all teams are tech, like, looking at it the same way and taking it that seriously? Is it something Australia is really, really prodding? So you know, uh, no, I think everyone would be. Um, I think you've seen the way India have played and India have started in, this, in, the, in, the, in the tournament, I guess. And um, again, it's a long process, but I think um, we've seen how much the last test of the Ashes to England meant to them, I guess, winning that and um, that come at the end of, in the end of things, in the scheme of things, that can be quite big. Um, you don't know until you get to the end of it, but you make sure that you're going to each test best prepared. I think we do that extremely well here and um, we've done that extremely well for the summer. Travis, there's a bit of talk around about uh, the ICC looking at four-day tests uh, in the future. Um, what's your opinion on that? Uh, no, five days, I think the ultimate test, I guess. it's. Um, I guess we've gone through a rare period now where we've been able to win a, a couple of tests in four days, but it's quite rare. And um, I guess yeah, the, the test of having coming up and playing test cricket from first class cricket, the, the extra day, um, I think as Tim said, we may have not seen a couple of the, the results we've seen in England, the way that they panned out. So I think that plays a lot with the wicket and it brings spin into play. So I like to keep it five days. Right, um, as, as it's been made, Yeah, I think he's just he's learnt the game. He's, he's, he went to England. Um, he, he changed a couple of technical things, but then just to see the way he's trained, I guess the way he's learnt off the senior guys. Um, not spoken a lot about, I guess, the connection with him and Steve, but um, that's what you got to do. You got to learn off the best players in the world. Um, he's an unbelievable learner of the game. He loves cricket. Um, so it's been great to see because you, you want to see the guys who work extremely hard and, and work on their game and want to get better each day do well. And, and he's reaping the benefits of that at the moment. And um, I'm sure he'll, he'll start the, the new year, I guess, the same way he's finished it. But he's in unbelievable form. And um, I'm just loving the way to see him, he's someone who works extremely hard at his game, to, to, to get the results, I guess. Trap your own voting, um, sort of transitioning, I suppose, certainly in your international career from being a white ball. Um, oh, I think it just it's come with maturity. I guess I started my first class career playing a lot of four day career and then went into one day career and then was fortunate enough to get my opportunity to play for Australia the other way. So I started with one day career and white ball career. I think it's um, I've played a lot of first class career now. I think. Um, I've adapted my game around each format of the game. I haven't played a great deal of white ball cricket. I want to. I want to get back in that team. Um, so I guess I've just um, learnt to. I guess be a bit more patient in the red ball game. And um, I guess last week showed that, which, which was great for. I guess for my development and, and what I'm trying to achieve. Yeah. I think I've just. I think I've just got a lot better at the last 12 to 18 months on adapting the wickets. I'm very fortunate to play a lot of cricket at Adelaide Oval with the drop in. I think. Well, the wicket last week was very similar. I don't think I played a cover drive, and, and that's something that I've learned from Adelaide. But I guess in, in Perth or in, in previous Test matches, I've probably been a bit more um, extravagant. I guess in the shot selection around different wickets. I think I'm just adapting to bowlers and, and, and different ways or scenarios I can get out. So I think I'm just going out there and batting and, and taking in all the information in I can.
there might uh, be you might just make it a few more we're holding up two bus lanes. Sorry. So there's yeah. forecasts of um, you know, this test can be potentially effective on some tries to around Sydney. Did you see the pictures from the, the Shield game here a few weeks ago and how do you feel about the, the prospect of that? Yeah, I've seen the photos. Uh, again, it's something that um, I guess will get taken out of our hands. It's something that we don't have to worry too much about. Um, the player safety obviously is an aspect of it, but I'm sure the match officials obviously seeing what happened in Canberra a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm sure that they'll put us in the best uh, position and, and we'll not have to worry about too much. Is it a concern at all? Uh, it's not a concern for me. It's probably more concern that around it's just a, a game of cricket, I guess, and there's a lot more people being worse affected at it than, than us. So. Um, our thoughts with them and, and we'll just play the game as best fit uh, for our health and safety I guess and that, and that we have all the confidence in the world in all our match officials. Are the Kiwis on a bit of a hiding to nothing here given we've got so many New South Wales players in the team as well who love playing at the SCG? Um, oh, home ground advantage is always nice. Um, we've got a lot of guys who've played a lot of cricket and, and we've done extremely well here so um, I'm not sure if they're hiding nothing but they've they still got a lot to play for. Um, I know they made a few changes to their squad so um, again, we'll be best prepared the way we can and, and trying to continue to play the cricket that we have. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I speak to the guys who've played a lot of cricket here. I played the one test last year, so um, the, the Queensland guys that played here a couple of weeks ago, so um, an exciting week.